Hello folks and welcome back. So today video I'm gonna show you how even with the crappiest camera that you have you can make it look way more natural and better like at the moment the camera that I'm having is like Logitech webcam C210 which is a camera from 2010 and that make the camera how much like 11 years old and as you can see the quality of the web camera is not that bad but uh, that is something uh, that I did with a few little setups that I made uh, I'll show you the specification of the web camera it's 1.3 megapixels USB 2.0 and this is the pixels uh, 640480 pixels which is pretty bad very low quality uh, for today's standards as you notice but even that uh, the video that is coming out from this camera look pretty good to me uh, according of course for the settings that the camera have it's not high-end so anyone can improve uh, his camera uh, the way it's looking uh, so you can use it in teams or zoom or discord or skype whatever so you can have like a better video coming from your end and the only thing that you really need uh, to have and do is to set up your light uh, lighting because uh, the lights that comes towards your face or environment behind you whatever uh, that needs to be constant because after you made the settings once there is gonna be for this kind of lightings and every time that the light is different uh, you need to do uh, the settings again because uh, for this kind of lighting uh, your settings may be great or, but for other kind of lighting the settings uh, can be really bad I'm gonna show you like uh, what kind of lighting I have I have like a normal light uh, and I'm just gonna take a picture and I'm gonna show you like uh, where is the lighting that I'm having at the moment uh, so this is the picture uh, you can see the camera and the light of course is right in front of me like uh, around two meters away from me so this is the quality that I get uh, that I'm happy with it um, this is after I did the settings but now I'm gonna show you how it's looking like uh, when there is no settings from the camera and just default camera settings so yeah, these are the standard settings as you can see. Uh, I didn't change anything, just the settings that I did on my camera, the lighting is still the same. Uh, I'm still using the same camera, I don't even have another camera, but yeah, you see my face is red. Here on the, whatever it is, right side behind me. Uh, the bed is kind of out of frame because the lighting, I guess, is not coming towards it, so it's pretty bad. I'm all red, like somebody beat me up or something, I don't know. Uh, so the thing that you need to do is just uh, go into OBS or Streamlabs. For example, this video I'm using Streamlabs. I'm going to show you how you can do the camera settings on Streamlabs. Uh, first, uh, you, we need to add the camera, right? So we go into the sources, then, then add a new source and then just pick uh, video capture device and then uh, our camera is gonna show up uh, web camera and then we're gonna add this source so this is the raw footage that we are having at the moment as you can see I'm red the colors are not quite right um, my face is not uh, you cannot uh, see good my face so the quality is not that good at the moment uh, even though this camera as I said is pretty cheap uh, we can get a way better quality so the first thing that we need to do is go into our source that we just had webcam for example uh, then we go into properties and after that uh, here you can see the max resolution that this camera has and then we go into configure video and we're gonna see panel that is coming up uh, depending what kind of camera you have like it's loading my logitech web camera so 
we go into advanced settings and here everything is like the program is doing herself so that's why we look like this so we're just gonna turn off everything and with few little uh, things that we're gonna do we're gonna look way better first as I said we're looking kind of like not good because the lighting is not showing our face so we need to be a bit more brighter so from here we're gonna add a bit brightness and from here we can add even a bit more but we're gonna go like this then on white balance this is a place where we can hide our red face so when we go into the light balance we're just gonna put it a bit back and there now we have like a normal color skin and we're not red anymore uh, the picture behind us is way more clear uh, from the brightness if we want we can make ourselves a bit more uh, bright but I think something like this is enough contrast you know what it's doing so we're gonna go just a slide more uh, color intensity if we go more to the right uh, it's gonna bring more color but the quality is going bad so we're just gonna turn it back down a bit uh, if we go all the way left uh, we are like um, black and light uh, but we are living in what is it 21st century or so so <laughs> we definitely want some colors so we're gonna add that uh, and there you go and uh, that's it with just these few easy steps we're looking way better uh, that we was looking with the normal camera settings uh, if we want to add virtual camera to any device that we are using as i said discord zoom teams whatever all we have to do is just go down left uh, uh, and then virtual web camera uh, and usually uh, the virtual web camera button is gonna be like this so you need to start your own virtual web camera we're gonna start the, the web camera and we're gonna start for example what we're gonna start uh, zoom new meeting and the zoom is loading uh, and we're gonna go obs camera and we're gonna start it uh, since the zoom meeting is picking virtual camera like from your whole screen all you have to do is just make sure you put this all the way up uh, all right so after you start zoom uh, you're gonna see the normal program panel uh, we're just gonna go for example new meeting uh, the program we're gonna start loading uh, we're gonna have to choose the OBS camera this is because after we make our virtual background camera uh, that's how it's uh, we can choose it like it's OBS camera uh, of course we can do the normal stuff on zoom meeting like choose virtual background uh, we can go here and just pick or add some pictures that we want we can even put a green screen and made a green screen for our screens or our videos i already have a video about that uh, you can check it in the video description so this is how you add your virtual camera it's working like any normal camera uh, if you want to do the same thing let's say on discord uh, just go on user settings then uh, voice and video uh, then go a bit down and just choose again OBS camera press test and that's it uh, as you can see it's working on these two programs uh, it's working any program that is using voice and video for communication so for sure uh, you'll be able to make uh, yourself look way better in your meetings or when you chat with your friends so yeah, this was it for today and this video. I hope it was helpful because for sure for me, it was helpful to learn about this 
FedEx, maybe some of you know it, maybe they don't, maybe you don't, I don't know. But yeah, uh, peace, uh, take care and uh, have a good one.